Police say a man with significant psychological issues attacked theater goers in Tennessee before being shot by officers. The attack happened this afternoon at a theater in Antioch, a suburb of Nashville. The suspect was killed by a SWAT team while trying to flee. Police say 29-year-old Vincente Montano was armed with a hatchet, pellet gun, and pepper spray, as well as a backpack with a fake bomb. Three people were hit with pepper spray. One was also wounded by the hatchet. I'm eternally grateful, <laughs> excuse me, for Metro Police Department for their fast response today. I have no idea why this gentleman decided to attack us. The violence comes two weeks after another theater shooting in Louisiana. Tonight, CBS 2's Eric Inachlin spoke to a security expert with tips on how to stay safe. Even before the lights go out and the movie begins, you can be thinking about how to respond to an active shooter. First, you look at where you want to sit. Private security expert and former police officer Gary Wong says pick a seat near the back or center of the theater so you can see your surroundings and stay close to at least one exit while identifying a second. You just want to make sure you have a way of getting out. Then, on the rare chance you hear gunshots inside, remember these three steps. First, run if you can. Wong says even being a moving target is better than staying put. You want to flee. You want to get out of the theater as quickly as possible. If I have the opportunity, I'd run straight for that exit and get out. If that's not possible, if the shooter is too close, Wong says your second choice is to hide. And remain silent. Make sure your cell phone's on silent. Third, if he approaches you, the only chance at that point is you need to fight. You need to, you need to attack. You can't just lay there and be a victim. Wong works with a few theaters in the L.A. area and says they're now asking for extra security guards and even running mock drills. They see that having the personnel trained properly, um, training their staff is, is almost uh, a necessity now. As for moviegoers, he says you should still go and enjoy the movie. You don't need to be scared, but like anywhere, either it's in a movie theater, a market, a mall, anywhere, you always want to be aware of your surroundings and you, you want to be ready. Wong says the average shooting lasts 10 to 15 minutes, and he says once police are inside, you should still focus on getting out. He says their first priority isn't you, it's taking down that gunman. In Pasadena, Erica Nachlin, CBS 2 News.